Hello. How is this going? It's going well. Actually? I think so. Just getting everything set up before I have to remake the dipstick too. Put the manifold on and then put the front end on. There's even a fluid in the car right now. There's power strain fluid in it. I'm oh. saying we're getting real serious. Although, did my oil plug, oil pan plug come in Amazon today? Did it? I don't know, did it? Is that the one I gave you? No. That you put it into your pocket? No, that was a different one. Oh that no. Reminds me I gotta do that thing too. Yeah, things going well. Got the cooler in. Kind of gotten everything set up. All the wiring harness sorted in. So I'm just gonna have to go power wash the intake so none of the metal that shot out my intake goes back in my intake. Yeah, so my ITB kit, it kind of like hits really here really bad. Now is not the time to do all that stuff. So I'm gonna put them to the side. And I think with some uh, custom stuff, we'll make it work late at a later date. But uh, we'll see what it makes with the M50 intake for now. TBD. Yeah, TBD. TBD. But definitely makes tuning easier too in the meantime because we can run a really similar tune to last year. Meanwhile, like if I ran the ITBs, we would need a totally different tune. Mm. So, it's not all bad. First drive, baby. It's been a long couple of days. It's been a long couple of days. Does it have gas? Yeah. All right. Put a paint marker, put a paint mark on the bottom of the spark plug. Well, we're, that's what we're going to definitely do for the plug. All right. Let him talk. So, Camera, go. He, he can't even talk right now. So I, we have everything working. I think everything's communicating. The engine's not starting. I'm like, why is the engine not starting? And then Chris says, maybe check the spark plug. This, the high compression pistons, because the guy decks so much off the block, still, even with the thicker head gasket, 75 thou head gasket, kiss the spark plugs and close the gap so there was no spark. And this is the kind of single strap plug we use on the race motors. This is like a BKR7. Yep, BKR7. But we're gonna go back to the OEM one, which is like a four pronger, because it's about a millimeter shorter, Chris has measured. And we're gonna hope that the pistons don't hit the spark plugs anymore. We're gonna hope that the pistons don't hit the valves at all anymore either. It's when it's ripping around, but we'll see what happens. So yeah, good times, guys. It's always something. Ah! I'm so flustered, I drove to Advanced Auto instead of Auto Part Auto Zone. And you forgot right, your wallet. It's all still there. She clears. Fire it up. All right, let's do it. straight down option when you got us. All right, Mike, give us an update. Oh, How's it going? It started. Brennan tunes it a little bit. We got a little coolant leak. Not sure, maybe thermostat housing? We'll get there later. Uh, I think it's still a rubber gasket. Might just go old school RTV. I don't know what I was thinking, trying to use the modern solution. Creating modern problems for modern solutions. So when I did the wizard, it set the back up. see a little bit of something. like. There's one flake. The horseshoe with mm, there's all sorts of metal in there. Like, What's up? There's all sorts of metal in there, but it's not bad yet. We'll clean it up, we'll clean it up. Definitely more chunky. Oh no. <laughs> Sonny Wink would say, oh no. Oh, look at it, you can see it, it's eating itself. Uh, not yet. You get one of those. Take a chunk out of the filter and see yeah. what it looks like. Hey, you know, it's got that dumb what is that? grill on it. It's Probably so they don't the collapse. Rocks? <laughs> <laughs> the big chunks of BMW motor. <laughs> this looks like the f handfuls of ARP fucking jizz that you use. <laughs> yeah, you should have seen how much fucking ARP <laughs> jizz. ARP directly looks like that. Because you never I cleaned like, the part that I told you. <laughs> you didn't clean the no, part that I told you to after you toured the head. I did. I wiped, but I wiped it off. But it's hard to get in there a lot. I always wipe off. 
much ARP as I could. <laughs> it's like, they were like, did you just like mount? dump the bottle out into it? Yeah, it was mounting. It's not as good more as better, I know. <laughs> it achieved torque. They're just trying to make you feel better, Mike. Exactly. Mike's just looking for it to be. Yeah, bad. you're you're. <laughs> His looking. brain doesn't know what to do when it works. <laughs> Something has to be wrong. Something Severe is, PTSD. Something is mm -hmm. definitely wrong. See the way the fluid spins like that? It's supposed to go the other way. <laughs> Gravity is fucked up today. <laughs> We're at the Australia direction. The toilet's going the wrong way. You want to go clamp it in the thing? Like yeah, even if it's just a section of it, just cut me out of slice. There's a big one. That's not good. That's totally fine. Oh my fine. god, Mike, shut totally the fuck fine. up. It's, it's, Mike, how come your motor's got so much sand in it? <laughs> That's IRP sand. <laughs> they don't have that big of chunks in it. How much brake clean do you guys need? No, that's like one day's worth. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's why the power washer is cheaper. <laughs> so I'm trying, I, I gotta get a little... Mark's bit. using it as, as if someone else is paying for it. Guys, were you logging or... The KTCU just... The KTCU just drives. What is this? with this so we were on the dyno right before the we left and we had a ton of valve noise so before we um, went to the dyno I adjusted the shims to all be more even because they were a little all over the place so I, I shaved down a couple but then we look further into this because it still made noise the cam sheet the first line says the valve lash but uh, I don't think someone could read machinist um, because only one valve was in spec after checking them all as you can see I have my handy dandy calculation sheet over here for solid lifters and their shims you want 7 to 8 thou, 6 thou if you're feeling a little frisky. We had mostly 9 through 14. So at some points double the tolerance required and stated on the sheet that goes with the cams. So right now, talk to Mino over at Achilles who supplies these awesome cams and all my super tech stuff. Yeah, we're having to redo it all. So I have all the valves out. I'm retorking the head while I'm in there. Well, the valves are in the head. And I have the valve train out outside the valves. I tested the spring to make sure the springs were correct and they were the 80 pound super techs I expected. And so basically I have it all apart, so I'm like, screw it, I'm gonna retorque the head while I'm in there. We have those 12 mil head studs that we use, so you can retorque them as many times as you want without risking stripping out the block and stuff. Checking them while I'm in there, but uh, hopefully when we get these shims in from Mino, um, we'll get this thing back together and hopefully drive a lot quieter. Maybe it'll idle better. Basically, it, the, it was weird. On the dyno, it had a variance of lambda between bank one or bank two. Our tuner, Brendan, thinks possibly that the variance in valve lift actually created a difference in the amount of air being sucked in bank to bank, because the variances are crazy, they're all over the place. So, hoping that is what it was, because I did do a leak down test thinking maybe something was wrong. The leak down test was good, so basically that's the only thing left. It's you know, another reason to monitor two banks versus one bank. Uh, you get a little bit more insight to what's going on. So we'll get this thing hopefully sorted out and hopefully it drives them out making deathly noises and uh, without destroying itself. Yeehaw. It's not very exciting. Get a little loosen. Turn on the handy dandy gear wrench, torque wrench. <laughs> See how much farther that went than I loosened it? The MLS gasket squished up a little bit. So now that I'm done retorquing it, I just go ahead and use a little paint pen, mark the top of the stud, so I know I have done that one. So we go through, do all those, finish that up, and then, uh, yeah, keep moving. Cars are fun. <laughs> <laughs> 